previously on Sailing Ruby Rose. Well, there you go, sails up. Sea wind 13, 17. Wind's knocking uh, 22, 25, gusting 30. This boat, it can take it. So after the relative insanity of the last three days, looks like the last few hours is going to be none of what I signed up for. Yeah, finally at the Chang. Leg one finished. I'm glad I did it. Don't want to do it again. So welcome back Sailing Ruby Rose. As you can see, the boat is in disarray and there are sun hats and pasta jars. There's Mike looking pretty stressed hey out. Mike's only got one arm. He's I'm not stressed, I'm done, I'm finished. Two days of hell. I'm Sick of this pirate arm. We got a real pirate the club. <laughs> so yeah, so what are we doing? Uh, there has been a photo shoot in the Chang. We have had uh, models galore draped over the boat in various states of seasickness. And, um, but overall, perfect photo shoot for two days. I was part of it as crew, which was interesting to see, but that's for Seawind's own private repository of film. So yeah, we're just packing up the towels, we're packing up the wine glasses, we're packing up the pot plants, the pistachio nuts, the three colored pasta in the background. What we're trying to do is get the boat back to being a sailing boat. And then the way that the regulations work here, your man here, he's your, the visa agent. So he's just given us our passports back. Checking in and out here is pretty difficult. So, uh, passports submitted at eight o'clock this morning. They have now been provided back for us and we've got clearance to leave and we have to leave before 5.30 p.m. So we've got half an hour, we're just gonna stir everything, get the engine started and get sailing. We have a two day, two day downwind sail, which hopefully will be more enjoyable than the sail up here, which you should have already seen, which was quite frankly, miserable. Anyway. Everyone's tired, but I think we're looking forward to getting out and getting sailing again. So yeah, I'll be reporting back, hopefully not from a supine position, throw my guts up. Look at you, the big beast that you are. All right, well, that was two engines. Nice, quiet evening, eh? You too. Good. Lucas, you, you can do the stern line and we are good to go. All right. Okay. Let me know when you want that engine started for. And so time to head off leaving the Trang with a different crew this time. Skipper Phil, you've met him before from the other episodes. CEO of Seawind, Richard Ward. We've met him before when we interviewed him. And my friend Lucas, the Argentinian. I'm going to leave it there. Just Argentinian. The guy that celebrates the World Cup and works super, super hard, never late for work ever. I'm feeling pretty good about this because I know that this is downwind, the weather is good, and here's Lucas finally doing some work. Really nice to see, get this on camera. But yet, yeah, with the lines dropped, it is finally time to head off into the setting sun. I just didn't get a chance to get my shirt. so good. No, mate, I don't. So first things first, let's get the main sail up. Because we're night sailing, it's time to put one reef in. We always tend to sail very, very conservatively at night. So a single reef, just as we head off to head south, back towards Ho Chi Minh City. So first watch, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. 21 gust and 25, true wind speed. Apparently gonna be about 25 gust and 30. But well, we're gonna make a turn in a few minutes, so we'll uh, actually get the wind back of the beam. Speed over ground, 9.1 knots. Doing well. Yeah, the, uh, the autofocus isn't, doesn't wanna work. Can't find me. Anyway, so three hours watch, cabin, sleep, and then I'll do this for 48 hours. We'll all do this for 48 hours. Unlike the what they, 96 hours it took us to get up here. My archer. Anyway, onward and forward with my night watch. So 9 p.m. Uh, first watch over. Um, I'm hot bunking with Lucas. And he's left the mattress nice and warm. So yeah, I've got into a nice warm bed. And I gave him my nice warm jacket. A bit weird, though. Anyway, lovely, lovely sails so far. The only thing is, we haven't locked off the prop, so the prop shaft is spinning. You can hear that whining a little bit. So apart from that, it's very, very comfortable in here. Very, very comfortable indeed. And uh, yeah, trying to get a little bit of sleep. If I can get three hours sleep, that'd be nice. 
but otherwise I'll just listen to some music and I'm back on watch 12 till 3 which is a shitty watch at least 3 till 6 you get the sunrise so midnight midnight is watch change we are change over Phil is uh, what were you drinking Phil? you got a can of coke, a can of soda yeah and uh yep we just is off to bed so three hours for another three hours and we'll change Boats come through, batting along at about nine knots, following seas. Pretty beautiful in here, actually. And compared, and I'm going to bang on about this, compared to the last uh, trip, this is pretty sweet. So three hours of watch keeping, and we'll be back on it. Uh, another watch finished. Now it's time. No, another sleep finished. God, I'm tired. Now it's time to go up and uh, relieve the uh, leave the on watch. Ooh. Good morning. Rise and shine. 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 Rise Get the window down. Mm. All right, 6 a.m. Time to start my watch. I turn into my own mother. And I'm going to give you all a secret. I love my mother dearly, but uh, my own tea bag stash. I don't drink coffee on passage. So, yeah. I think a cup of tea in the morning is um, a good way to start my day. I'll give you some stats and walk through. We have uh, 21 knots of true wind, nine to nine and a half knots of boat speed. With the apparent wind angle, and I changed it overnight from true wind angle. I don't understand why it was set to, ch to true um, of 130 degrees. So yeah, 130 degrees, eight and a half to nine knots and 20 to 22 knots of breeze. That is flying with one reef in the middle. Full jib. Not bad. Not bad. Only hazard when this when the kite goes up in this or the screecher which is on the deck. But obviously we shorten the sail for, for night sailing. So yeah, one reef. And I'm gonna have my tea. And then um, there was definitely bacon and eggs cooked luck purchased by me, which will be cooked at some point by one of the crew today. So breakfast will be a fry up with tea. That's a good start to a sailing morning. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'll report that later. This boat is very, very, very stable as a platform. Um, it is blowing True wind speed is 23 knots. Um, speed over ground at the moment between nine and 12, depending on whether we're going up or down a wave. The swell is not that great and it's not confused. So what have we got? Like about a 10 second swell period? Two meters of swell? Something like that. Something like that. So it's not going up and down a lot, but... Com I, I think what I would say to you is that comparatively, you watched us on Ruby Rose for years. This is completely different, a completely different experience, like totally, totally different. There is no, in this weather, we would not be living like this, but we'd be like just doing, holding on for dear life. Cut the reefs in, but the boat is bigger. She's very stable. Also very, very, very dry. I think that's something that's very important to point out that, you know, we've got a very dry boat. And what I'll do in a second is I will pan round, show you the instruments. I'm going to linger over the instruments for a few seconds and you can kind of get like an idea of the, the motion up and down waves. And then, um, yeah, show you what um, see uh, the company is doing, doing some work. Our skipper Phil is also, also doing work. Um, we've just, as I said, we've just passed an island, so we've got a little bit of residual internet. Anyway, yeah, I'll stop gassing and uh, show you my view. And so join us next week as we head into Ho Chi Minh City part two of this amazing episode 
getting to see the performance downwind of the Seaman 1370. If you haven't given us a like already, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, leave your comments. The comments on these episodes have been super interesting. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Goodbye.